So hey guys and welcome back to my channel, I'm V. Today's video is all about the mistakes that I made during my first year of university that I wish I hadn't made. Little tiny things that seem like they don't matter but they would have made my time a lot easier and I'm telling you in the hope that you won't make the same mistakes and you'll just get to fresh this week and everything goes a little bit smoothly unlike for some who are panicking and always calling home. Before we begin, just a quick one. Thank you so much for getting us to 29,000 subscribers. Try getting 29,000 people into your back garden for a cup of tea. It's impossible because no one has that many spoons or cups. But also because it's a large number of people. I will never ever take your support for granted. I would never take your presence here, your time here for granted. I'm so grateful and thank you so much. But if you're new and you're not yet part of the family, we're not mad at you. We don't blame you. Just press that red button right now. The last thing I'll ask is, can we get this video to like 300 likes because I think that will just give everyone good luck for Freshers Week, good luck for the start of university. We'll just start our video in good spirits. So anyway, let's get straight into the video. Thank you so much for watching and good luck for Freshers Week. So academically, I wish I'd... <sighs> I wish I'd known that it was okay to ask for help. The very first essay that we were set in Freshers' Week, yeah, Oxford gives you essays in Freshers' Week, fun times. The first essay that I was set in Freshers' Week, I was like drowning, struggling, crying, screaming. It was horrible. Like I just did not know what I was doing, what was needed, how to even write an essay. Like it, I, it was too much. So I feel like I really, really wish I'd known that it was okay to ask for help because everyone else was drowning. They pretended that they weren't, but they were. So if I could go back and talk to me, I'd be like, ask for help. The second thing is, I wish I'd done my reading. That reading list that they send you during the um, summer, yeah, I would do that one because I feel like that maybe would have helped with the first problem, you know? Maybe if I'd done that reading list, I wouldn't have had an issue with the essay, but you know? I do wish I'd done the reading because I feel like I'd have gone into Freshers Week or into my first term with a lot more confidence and a clearer head. Another thing that I wish I'd done, and I genuinely wish I'd done this, I wish I'd decided while I was at home whether I prefer writing or typing. Because I started to do typing and then I thought, mm, let me do writing, that made me concentrate more. Then I was like, oh, writing takes too long, let me go back to typing. And now my notes, which I might need, are all jumbled up all over the place. There's no structure to them. Pick a method and try to stick to it because you want to have everything in order, organised and easy to like go through when you need it. So please choose typing or writing. Maybe test it out in Freshers Week to see which one feels better. But once you've found it, stick to it. The other thing, the last thing academically is I wish I'd never ever missed a lecture. I didn't do this in Freshers. Like in Freshers Week, in the first term, in the second term, I went to almost every single lecture. I don't want to brag. This channel's not about bragging or anything, but I'm just going to say this. I did have 98% attendance. I would highly recommend you go to your lectures from the beginning because then you will start how you want to end. Don't be like me in the final term. Only in the final term, I think my attendance went from like 98%, 99% to like 86, which I know is actually not that bad, but like for me, whew, I was like, what's going on? And it only took one lecture. It took one time when after a night out, the club, you know, very few, woo, woo. I just thought, I'm tired, I don't wanna go. Then I was like, oh, I don't feel as bad as I thought I would about missing that. Then the next day I miss another one, then a week later, and then before you know it, you're in a spiral, and you're like, I'll catch up later, you never catch up. If you can help it and you're happy, healthy, and okay, go to your lectures. Ouch. Okay, now let's move on to socially. I wish in Freshers Week I'd gone to all of the talks. I know some of them sound like, oh, it's annoying, this is too much, I'll just learn it later. No, it will save you so much time. If there's a health talk or a talk about using laundry cards or how to get around the uni or whatever it is, libraries, induction, go. It will save you so much time because the moment Freshers Week is over, you're launching into your university career and you don't want to like take a few weeks to learn something you could have learned in an induction in freshers week so go to all of the talks and i didn't go and i just wish i'd gone because i spent so long trying to figure out how to use the photocopier in the library and i could have just learned that in the induction day and it's just annoying the second thing i wish i'd done is i wish i'd made more friends from different societies different places just because like you are a person who is like an onion right like you have many layers to you and you can 
explore all those layers at once you don't have to like just stick to one group and i do regret that so i wish i was a bit more open-minded during freshers week and gotten to know a lot more people and made more effort to make a lot more friends just because like it's nice to have different groups to go to if i could go back i would make more effort outside of like my comfort zone going off of that one i've actually joined a lot more societies i feel like I just thought, oh, it's too much, I can't do it, and I could have done it, so I wish I'd joined, like, the debate club, I wish I'd gone to the International Relations Society more, I wish I'd done a lot more of the things that I actually care about that I do in my spare time anyways, I wish I'd explored that at university, gone to more talks and lectures that weren't just to do with my degree, and just gotten a bit more involved in, like, university culture, I feel like I just didn't so when freshers week is happening and you can sign up for things i'd recommend you sign up to i don't know something random like horse riding cheerleading just try things it's your time to try and explore and yeah i regret sticking to my comfort zone moving on to practically practically i wish i'd done so many things different number one i wish i packed a mattress topper it makes the world of difference i at uni for the first like term for the first year in fact i was like my back hurts mom i just kept complaining to my mom i just felt back pain all the time and then one time i was in malala's room and i was sleeping on her bed and i was like your bed is so comfortable like what do you have a different bed or something and she was like no i have the same bed i was like so why is your bed so comfortable she was like oh i have a mattress topper i said what is that and i want it now and then i went around all of my other friends bedrooms and i was like oh so this is the secret and i finally got one and i swear to god it changed my life having a mattress topper Another thing that I wish I'd taken to uni with me was when I'm packing to go to uni, I always pack like in big suitcases because it's easier to like carry the stuff. But I wish I'd taken a smaller suitcase, just like a travel luggage size one that you can put in like the airplane. I wish I'd taken one of those for when I'm coming home. Every time I was doing trips home, I was using a backpack, bags, and I was just like, what am I doing? Like if I just taken a small suitcase, like a four wheel one that can really like push along, you know, it'd have made my life so much easier because there will be times when you go to visit home for a birthday, feeling homesick, whatever, and you just need something to like transport your stuff. Something else, I get very cold. Like I am the coldest person I know. Like I'll be warm right now, like in dungarees and whatever. Let bedtime arrive. I need to have like socks, leggings, a top, a jumper, a blanket, an extra blanket. I always need to have a lot of layers on me when I sleep because I get cold. And I wish I'd just taken a bedroom heater, those little portable heater fans or a hot water bottle because winter hit me hard. Winter in my first year at uni was the worst time of my life. It was the worst time. I was so cold and I didn't have the energy to go home and ask for a little bedroom heater. I never ordered one because I was just lazy. So I just suffered through. I was like, I'll be home soon. Worst decision, take it with you. Just take it with you from the bit. Just take it with you. I also wish I'd taken more stationery from home, in Home Bargains or Asda or Poundland or wherever I get my cheap stationery from. Because when I got to Oxford, they only had WH Smith, Ryman, places that were too expensive for me and I just couldn't do it. So I would recommend you stock up on like your notepads and stuff. And the last thing I'm gonna recommend that I wish I'd taken that I just didn't take was an adapter. You know, like the thing where you can pop lots of different charges at the same time. Yeah, I didn't have one of those and my plug was all the way across the other side of the room. And once again, I don't know why I just didn't Amazon Prime some stuff. I don't know, I just wasn't thinking. But I would always have to like charge only two things at the same time. So if I needed like my laptop plugged in plus my phone, but need to dry my hair, it's not happening so if you can just take an adapter it will just save you time so that's it for now i know this is a very random information kind of video but these are the few things that would have just made my time there easier personally because i just feel like man i played myself like i can't believe i did not know about mattress toppers until i was like 20 
20, it took me till the age of 20 to know that I needed a mattress topper. Like, that's ridiculous. That took way too long to figure out and I'm gonna save you the time. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you comment down below the things that you're worried about or that you're missing or that you think you'll need at university if I didn't already mention it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.